Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Bay City, Texas. I've been here for about four or five days, uh, just kicking back and relaxing like I was doing in Galveston. Uh, not a lot going on right at the moment. You guys stick around. Guys, I'm glad you stuck around. I'm uh, usually not busy at this time of year, and it usually doesn't start picking up until around February. I'm gonna be trying to do some things like I normally do at this time. Uh, last year, I did the ride around Texas. Today, I'm headed over to uh, Blessing, Texas. I'm gonna stay at that hotel, the Blessing Hotel, because it's a historical hotel, and it's been around forever. Supposed to be pretty nice. Also, I'm meeting David Canada, the guy that's over and created the Motorcycle Grand Tour of Texas. So we're going to have lunch over there uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Today's Wednesday. I just left the hotel, the Paradise Inn, which was a okay hotel, but uh, for $38 a, a night, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> I won't go into the details. Maybe I want the details. I don't know. Stopped here, got a taquito at Whataburger. Yep. For breakfast. And then I'm gonna hit some geocaches uh, on the way to Blessing. Blessing's only 27 miles from here. I'm hitting like four or five geocaches. So let's, uh, let's go on down the road and check them out. Yeah. here I'm here in Markham Texas it's looking for a geocache but I can't find it it's supposed to be somewhere right around there and hadn't found it at all uh, there's a uh, another thing I want to see here so I'm gonna go over there and check it out here's the uh, old pump jack they have here this one's kind of unique back in the 1920s when this was built and was set out this thing here would turn and then it would run the pump right there with the belt all the way around that. That would be kind of interesting to see is the belt. Yeah, the belt was right here and it ran, it went around that. Superior, Springfield, Ohio is where this was built. said in 1927 the well went dry well Markham is about the size of the town that I was raised in in Blue Mound Texas which is just north of Fort Worth so I kind of like these little towns <laughs> all right well we're gonna go on down the road got some uh, other geocaches to find or not to find didn't find the one here catch you on the road in Markham Texas Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm over here on the west, south, I think it's more west, of Markham, Texas. Looking for a geocache, I'm not finding it. <laughs> That's two strikes today. Not finding the geocache. I looked real hard. I spent at least 10 minutes here. I'll show you the area. Well, this is where it's supposed to be at. And I'm not getting the hint, so this is uh, west of Markham. You see right over there, those uh, grain towers, that's where Markham is. But I'm not finding uh, elsewhere where it's at. This is a pretty country out here, though. 
All right. I'm always bummed when I can't find these things. Well, I pulled down here to turn around and I saw all these palm trees here. These are sable palm trees and they're growing them to sell them, which is pretty cool. Just biding my time I've been a rambling man for all my life All right, I'm on 35 here just west of Markham and there is supposed to be a geocache right there at that windmill and it's called windmill along the uh, fence line here there's the uh, windmill aha uh -huh, found it there you go little pill bottle wrapped up in uh, tape here very cool take a look in the inside and then I'll put it back and then I'll log it in uh, I very rarely sign the the logs. Uh, I log it on to geocaching.com. So, and I'll do that here in just a few minutes. Be right back. Yeah, I'm only a half a mile from the windmill for this one, and this one's called the Time of Essence, and it says it's on the left hand side. So I'm assuming that's the left hand side of the gate. Let's take a look. Left hand side, there's the right. Looks like the gates tore up over there. So, I'm not seeing anything yet. I don't know why it's wanting me to walk all the way over here. I don't want to get into that mess. <laughs> Hopefully it's not over there. Not seeing anything around the fence post. Wow, one out of four. Did not find this one. Said it was on the left hand side on the GPS coordinates over there. One out of four. I'm usually better than that. Anyway, heading on down the road to the next one. I don't know how far it is, I gotta look. Well, something went wrong with my mic, so I'm doing a voiceover over here. I did find the other geocache, and and this one was kind of uh, muddy and hard to get to. But, two out of five, not too bad. Or is that two out of four? Not a lot of choices to eat around here. They were kind enough to let me eat inside, even though they were closed inside here at the Smokin' A Barbecue in Blessing, Texas. <laughs> Thank you. It was a pretty good brisket sandwich, not too bad. Y'all know I'm picky about barbecue. Anyway, I'm going to uh, get some ice and then hang out at the hotel the rest of the day. Well, I got checked into the hotel and all that. Uh, but I'm up on the second floor right now and this is where I'm kind of starting the video of this hotel. It's pretty cool. It reminds me of the Hotel Texan, actually, kind of, with a lot more rooms. So let's take a look. Pretty cool. All these are rooms up here. Looks like they got about a total of 40 rooms, maybe. I don't know. I'm on the first floor. All right, this is the um, check-in area. I've got room number two here. So 
number two. And they got a piano out here. One of the uh, older maps of Texas being a republic. This is the uh, dining room here. Oh, they got a little model out here. I was out there on the uh, patio, I guess is what you call it. And this is the dining room. You can tell this is an old hotel. All right, guys, I'll show you the room here. Here's my room in here. Nice little bed, TV. Got a uh, microwave and a refrigerator. Anyway, got some towels, a nice little counter sink, and a walk-in shower. Pretty cool. See you uh, tomorrow. Well, my stay here at the uh, Blessing Hotel was pretty cool. It's a, uh, the feeling of the hotel felt like I was staying at a friend's house. And they put me up in the uh, guest room <laughs> yeah yeah something like that so uh, it was pretty cool all right I'm gonna be running around with David Canada today after we have lunch here he should be here in about 15 minutes and then we're going to uh, take off yeah catch you on the road here in Blessing Texas at the Blessing Hotel We've got David Canada arriving David and I rode over here to uh, Markham, Texas. I wanted to show him the, the pump jack here and it's probably gonna be in uh, next year's motorcycle grand tour stop. So you'll be able to stop by and check it out. It's pretty darn cool. I'm gonna head south. See you later, David. Catch y'all on the road from Markham, Texas. Pulasco, Texas. I hope that's right. And I met this guy named Magnificent Steve. He drives a banana car. Let's check it out. Well, there goes Magnificent Steve in his little banana truck. It's built on a 150 chassis. Pretty darn cool. Well, Steve didn't have time to stick around, but I'll have a link down below where you can uh, find it. Yeah. Catch y'all on the road here in Pulasco. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Texas at the local Dairy Queen. <laughs> yeah, I got a mini blizzard. Butterfinger.
That's how I set my trailer. Free beach to camp out at uh, near Port Lavatka, kind of. Um, also, Indiola, which I think is actually a ghost town. <laughs> um, but anyway, you can camp out here for 14 days for free. And I'm right next to the ocean. Yeah, what a beautiful view. Look at that. Hear the waves. Wake up in the morning. Look at this view. It's going to be pretty darn cool. All right. Well, anyway, this is... I'm going to set up and make me some uh, some soup here to eat for the night and uh, just sit back and relax, enjoy the, uh, the view, and <laughs> we'll see what happens here at night. Catch y'all on the road here in on Magnolia Beach in Texas. Yeah, pretty cool. Great. view uh, from waking up. Pretty darn cool. Howdy out, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here on uh, Magnolia Beach, and I'm getting ready to pack up and head out of here. I want to get where it's going to be warmer and a lot less windy. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty windy out here, but it was a nice place to stay. I really, really like this, uh, this spot. Plus, it's free. 14 days you could stay here, camp out on the beach. And somebody emailed me, and uh, oh, it was Karen. Karen emailed me and said, Watch out for the alligators. I hadn't seen no alligators out here. <laughs> no alligators. Uh, I'm going to head south towards Brownsville, but I have no idea where I'm staying tonight, which is the way I like it. It's very cool. Some people couldn't handle that, but me, yeah. I can handle that. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going to stop tonight, but I'm stopping. There's supposed to be some rain coming through later tonight. Um, I might catch a cheap hotel again if I can find one. And when I say cheap hotel, I'm talking around uh, 35 to 50 bucks. So I can't afford much more than that. I met this guy named Joe. He's a full-time traveler, and he's from Texas. He has his uh, official address in Livingston. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, full-time travelers who do that because Livingston will give you a, a box and, a, and a, a full-time address, which is pretty cool. Anyway, Joe was very cool. We, I don't know, we talked about 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, he works probably about a month out of the year, and then that supports him for the year. And he lives in this uh, suburban, which is pretty cool. All right, anyway, wanted to mention uh, Joe and... I'll catch y'all on the road down towards 
Brownsville somewhere. <laughs> Be out of here. Need to stop by the restroom. in uh, Victoria, Texas here, and I am at a cheap hotel. <laughs> uh, $35 a night. The room's pretty nice. It's a pretty good run. I've got some uh, weather. It's supposed to be raining all night and tomorrow, so I'll probably head out. I'll be here for a couple days, and then I'll head out. Guys, if y'all are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. Catch you on the road here in Victoria, Texas at a cheap motel. <laughs> uh, today I'm headed down to Mission. I don't always want to say Mission. Down below where you can check out where he's going to be at and all his stuff. <laughs> Let's try this again. Catch you on the road further south. <laughs> oh, I met this guy. Before. I'll cut that out and redo it. Uh, 